Zoho Commerce, your one-stop solution for selling online. Let's build, manage, and sell today. Order management is crucial for store owners because seamless and simple processes help them give their customers a better shopping experience and in turn helps their business grow. Zoho Commerce has an intuitive order management system that lets store owners manage and monitor their orders based on three things – order status, payment status, and shipment status. Let's look at how each one works. Once you have logged into your Zoho Commerce account, click on Orders seen on the left pane. The list of orders will be displayed with details like order ID, customer details, order status, payment status, shipping status, and amount. You can click on the order ID to open the order details. First, let's discuss order status. You have the option to confirm order or to cancel the order. This gives you the flexibility to cancel order in case the product or the specific variant the customer has ordered is not available. Click on Confirm Order and click on Confirm to change the order status from Pending to Confirmed. Zoho Commerce has fraud analysis capabilities too. On the Order Confirmation page, you can view details about the order like the order IP. Store owners can check to see if the order was placed from another continent, in which case it could be a spam order. You can take informed decisions based on this and cancel orders accordingly. Next, you can see the payment status on top. If the customer has paid already, the status will be paid. If a customer has opted for offline payment, upon completion of the delivery, you can go to the Payment tab and click on Mark as Paid. Click on Change Payment Status to Paid to Confirm. Enter the details on the Payment Details window and click on OK. The Payment Details will be displayed under the Payments tab and the Payment Status will be seen as Paid. In the case of prepaid orders, the payment details for those will be shown here as well. Now moving on to shipping. Zoho Commerce gives you the option to ship manually or ship via carrier. When you click on ship manually, first you will be prompted to confirm. Click on change status and you can start entering your shipping details. Once you're done, click on OK to finish. The shipping details will be displayed under shipping. Now, let's say you have set up carriers already to handle shipping for your store. Then you can go ahead with Ship via Carrier option. Select Ship via Carrier and you will be taken to the shipping details for the three-step process to validate address, create the shipment, and print the label. In the first step, you have to ensure that the addresses are correct and then click on Save and Continue to proceed. To create the shipment, you have to specify the parcel type, the ship date, the package dimensions, select necessary delivery options, and click on get rate. The list of shipping methods will be displayed and you can select the one you want and click on create shipment to complete this step. The last step is to print the label. Once you're done, click on back to order details. Under Shipping tab, you can see the shipping details and the shipping status will be seen as Shipped. After Delivery, click on Mark as Delivered. You will be prompted to enter the delivery date and click OK to finish. Now the shipping status will be delivered now. Let's say due to an unfortunate circumstance, you have to cancel an item in an order. Zoho Commerce provides the flexibility to cancel items in an order without having to cancel the whole order itself. You can confirm the order and then proceed to cancel whichever item you want. Under Item Cancellation Return tab, click on Cancel Item. The items in the order will be displayed. Select the item you want to cancel and enter the quantity and reason. Click on OK to complete the cancellation. Now, if the order has been delivered and you want to initiate a return, under Item Cancellation Return tab, click on Return Item. Select the item and enter the required details. Click on OK to complete. You can initiate a refund for a customer using the Initiate Refund option under Payments. 
Click on Initiate Refund to confirm. You can choose to either fully refund or partially refund. Enter the amount to be refunded in case of a partial refund and click on Save to complete the initiation. So that brings us to the end of this video. Be sure to check out our other videos that can help you set up your store on Zoho Commerce. We're always happy to assist you, so reach out to us via support at zohocommerce.com.